Hey guys, Thrasher here. We finally have a preview for the brand new Ultra Space Time banner coming out tomorrow. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so we're going to go menu, then we're going to go over to news, and we will see that we are getting a maintenance tonight. And then after the maintenance is over, we should have these guys right here. So we don't need to go look at the maintenance. The game will still be available. You can keep playing. You just won't be able to summon or use the shop. So let's talk about these actual characters. First, we have Super Saiyan Bardock. Makes his way to Dragon Ball Legends. With a Super Saiyan as his ally, his abilities will get a huge power-up. So he's a character that the more Super Saiyans you have on your team, the stronger he is. On top of that, when he is switched back to standby, he will provide support for allied Super Saiyans with various effects. With so many easy-to-use abilities, he's going to make a difference no matter the situation. So he is stronger when super saiyans are on his team and whenever you switch him out all the other super saiyans are going to get some type of a buff possibly just all the other characters but i'm pretty sure it's specifically super saiyan so let's go down a little further and then we're going to talk about lord chilled chilled makes his way to dragon ball legends he possesses a powerful ability that greatly strengthens allies like frieza and kura the lineage of evil so as i said in the previous video where i was talking about the new lineage of evil tag it looks like all of the friezas and the frieza race in general will be getting that lineage of evil so if we ever get a mecha frieza if we ever get a king cold they're probably all going to be lineage of evil and then when we get our final form kura final form cooler whatever you want to call him he'll also be lineage of evil plus if defeated damage from super saiyans will be greatly reduced so if he ends up dying all the damage you're going to take from super saiyans i guess for the rest of the battle for everyone on your team uh the damage is going to be lowered so that's a very powerful ability even if chilled himself doesn't do a ton of damage together with special move and strike arts cards that can paralyze the enemy this support type character specializes in impeding the opponent so you've got this purple lineage of evil character that can paralyze you also have the final form frieza who has been massively buffed who has the long range paralyze this could be an insane team if you have enough characters to truly run a lineage of evil team so let's go to the next one and then the final one is super saiyan 2 goku makes his way to dragon ball legends the first saiyan with a sustained damage cut recover damage sustained protecting allies with his main ability desperate deathmatch you can also cancel enemies attribute upgrades and allies attribute downgrades protect your saiyans or yellow element heavy hitters and turn the battle in your favor so he's going to be a defensive unit he's going to be the first truly powerful tank for the super saiyan or the saiyan tag whatever you want to call it um he it looks like is going to give a lot of versatility to the team and he's the character that we've been looking for for a while everyone's been saying majin vegeta's coming majin vegeta's coming and everyone thought that he would come with majin vegeta obviously he didn't there's a little bit of a uh time difference between the two of them but i would say majin vegeta was last week super saiyan 2 goku is this week he was pretty much expected so out of these three characters you have this character who i would say is pretty much a defensive unit this character looks like a support unit and then this character is your heavy hitter here's the thing unless these characters are absolutely insane i expect them to be very good but unless they're absolutely insane you should not be spending on this banner outside of your daily discounts why? One, you're going to get your guaranteed sparking tickets. Cool. Awesome. You'll get one or two free characters, possibly one of these three if you're lucky. But the other thing is the Christmas banner is right around the corner, and I'll talk more about that in my next video. We have a pretty good idea of who's either going to be in the Christmas banner or right after the Christmas banner, and you're going to want your crystals for them. It's going to be pretty insane in my opinion. Not to diminish these guys, like I said, it's a cool banner. We're going to get a few almost free summons at 20 per um, for these guys, but I would add absolutely save every extra crystal you have for Christmas because I I'm pretty much going to bet the farm on the fact that that banner is going to be insane with that being said I will have a full review of this banner when it does come out and I wish you the best of luck with whatever characters you pull with your guaranteed sparking tickets feel free to throw down below which one you're hoping to get with your guaranteed sparking tickets however many we end up getting and that's all I have for this video if you guys like this content make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one